So today I'm talking about a P0605 code, what it is and how you can go about fixing it. So what is a P0605 code? Well, it's an internal control module ROM error. And so what does this mean? Well, basically modern vehicles have computers built into them and the main computer called the PCM or ECM is having a problem when it does the self-diagnostic checks. Basically, these computers do self-diagnostic checks, usually on startup, and for some reason, the ROM or the read-only memory chip, it's having some kind of problem, and so it's going to have to be troubleshooted to know why. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0605 code? Well, the first thing to go and check whenever you have some kind of computer error, because go and check the battery and be sure that's good. Be sure all the terminal connections, that they look like they're good that there's no corrosion or anything like this because all these computers they need a good stable power supply or that can throw them off and cause them to give errors so whenever you get computer errors the first thing to go and do is check the battery and be sure that's good along with all the connections if the battery looks good and the terminal connections look like they're good it's a good idea to go and check the alternator and be sure that's good that it's charging correctly because if it's not if it's overcharging or undercharging or anything like that then that can also throw these computers off if you have a multimeter, you can't go and test the alternator output and check and be sure that it's good. And basically, to do this, you set your meter to DC volts. You go check the voltage at the battery terminals. You start up the vehicle. And with the vehicle running, most vehicles are going to output like 13 and a half to 14 and a half volts. You can't look up what your alternator is rated to output and be sure this matches. But usually if it's at least 13 and a half to 14 and a half volts, then it means it's charging good. If it's lower than that or higher than that, then that means that there's a problem. Some newer vehicles do have what's called a smart alternator, which can vary the alternator output voltage. So if you do have one of these newer vehicles with a smart alternator, then you will need to look up what the rated output is supposed to be. But by far 13 and a half to 14 and a half volts usually means that the alternator is working. The next thing that could cause this is some kind of wiring problem, possibly a blown fuse. Basically, if there's any kind of problem inside the wiring, especially with the power wires, then that's going to cause problems. It's also a good idea to go and check for any blown fuses. Basically, just go through and check for any computer-related fuses, anything labeled like PCM, ECM, ECU, anything like that. It's a good idea to be sure that those are all good because the next thing that could cause this is some kind of wiring problem or a blown fuse. And the last thing on the list is going to be that there's some kind of problem going on with that computer. And these computers can go by different names. They can be called a powertrain control module, an engine control module, an engine control unit. But whatever the manufacturer calls it, it's basically the main computer that's having some kind of problem. There's some different ways to go about checking to see if that computer has failed. And one thing to mention with these computers is that sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes when they go bad, they actually get burnt components on the board, like a capacitor will blow up or a resistor will burn up or something like that. And so if you go up around that main computer and you smell like a burning smell or something like that, then it's very possible that that computer is having some kind of problem. Again, these computers can't fail and there's no burnt components on them. But if you do smell any kind of burnt smell up around them, then very likely there is some kind of issue going on with it. But the last thing on the list is going to be a bad computer. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0605 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.